A Dia de Muertos celebration, best known as Day of the Dead in English, is happening tomorrow in the Bay. The Hunter Men Hall on Union Street is in charge of bringing this event to life to celebrate the Latin American community. And here to tell us all about it is 100 Men Hall's Rachel Dangerman, representative. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Brandy. I appreciate it. So first, we have to acknowledge your costume or your outfit right now, yes, I uh, guess you would say. And you're going to be wearing this tomorrow all for celebration, right? Absolutely. Um, during Day of the Dead, people can wear the full skeletal makeup or they can wear a headpiece like I'm wearing a lot of times it's very much in the flavor of Mexico uh, you have like your floral or in your lace um, but it's a day of honoring our dead right, right. and so um, the Hunter Man Hall we turn it into like a Mexican market like a market yes, yeah beautiful and then um, and we have a community altar and you're able to bring a picture of your loved one or a memento and you put it on the community altar and you can take it with you when you leave but it's so lovely to put it there amongst everybody else's photos and then um, we have some students who are building their own altar and um, some people do private altars but we also have a taco truck awesome we have margaritas at the bar and so it's just a wonderful and we have a mariachi band a live mariachi band from um six to about seven thirty it's awesome it's really bringing the culture alive and yes, remembering those you know who are no longer with us but we can't you know just roll out all of that because the mexican food is, is so is so good absolutely <laughs> well i mean i think a lot of people know mexican food but so rarely do they experience the culture yeah. which is so rich in mexico and and uh, Dia de los Muertos is one of the most important days there. If you were in Mexico during this holiday, you would see lots of families going to the grave sites, yeah. having uh, these celebrations. So Rachel, you tell me that you guys originally did this in 2019. It was yes. a halt due to COVID and other reasons. Right. How does it feel to be bringing it back? It's great. We did it last year and it was so fantastic. And we're doing it again this year. And we plan to do it every year, November 2nd. Sometimes it's on a Thursday. Some t this time is great. It's on a Saturday, but it's always going to be on that date. So is any yeah. other um, collaborations helping you guys kind of bring this well, back to the bay? Well, yes, because this is being sponsored by the Mississippi National Heritage Area. And without them, we couldn't do events like this and offer them to the public. So we're very excited. All right. So everyone's welcome to come out and, yes. and join you. And Absolutely. it is also it's free, free to the community. Yeah. Awesome. So everything is going to get going at six. Do you prefer people be there a little earlier? Or? Well, we open the doors at five. So okay. you can come, you know, it's nice to come early and look around at the Mariachi, we'll have a DJ playing music till six and then the mariachi band will go on. You can get your tacos y mas from uh, Los Serapes. So very good. Awesome. Well, Rachel, thank you so much for joining us. And we're hoping that turns out to be a wonderful event tomorrow. Thank you, Brandy.